Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about how you can use logoed merchandise as branded packaging and bundle components. Keep in mind, whatever you're doing, that you always want to be creative and provide value to the customer. So in for branded packaging, you will want to use that if you're trying to get registered for our Amazon brand registry. Now there's obviously there's other things you have to do to qualify for brand registry as well, but brand branded packaging is definitely on the list. Right here it says that if you don't have branding on your product, you need to have branded packaging. So it really depends what you're branding. If you're branding a bundle of products or if you're branding branding a single item. So anyway, this is the requirements here under brand registry. So I wanted to show you, this is just a website that you can get your own branded boxes printed. Um, and you can see here, this box for an average bundle, um, I picked the size nine by eight by two, which is actually pretty small. It's only two inches tall, but still it's $2.15 a box for a hundred units and if you want to get a little bit of a bigger box that would be better for like a sizable bundle your price goes up to almost 350 a box so when I started researching this originally I really wanted to think about how I could get creative with branded packaging without sacrificing the customer experience. Um, in fact, maybe even enhancing it. At the end of the day, this is just a plain brown box, which is gonna get recycled or thrown out. You could also, by the way, get it in white. Um, so what I did is I, I started looking uh, at logoed merchandise. Now, logoed merchandise is a lot of times used for corporate events, but we can use it for branded packaging as well. Now, all my examples are from this website, forimprint.com. I, I don't have a relationship with them. I've ordered from them and have had a good experience, but certainly feel free to use whatever company you want. Here's an example of something called the document holder, but it's 10 by 13, which is pretty big. Now, it doesn't have a lot of depth to it. It's basically flat, but even for clothing or a lot there's a lot of things you could put in this and you could have a really nice logo on the side and this would be your branded packaging you could just stick this in a poly bag and ship it into amazon your price on this for if you get 100 units is a dollar 50 each so even with the setup fee it's still less than our box and I think it's arguably a lot nicer, plus you can actually put in as a selling point in your listing that it comes with a reusable package, which it does. Here is another package option, which is similar, except it's more natural looking. Um, and this one is also, this one's more, it's 250 per unit. But still, we're still in that same price range of the box. And then here's a cheaper one. Now, Four Imprint has this thing if you go on their website to the outlet. And then they have stuff that has limited quantities. Um, so this is not necessarily something that you could, you could use over and over again. But if you're just getting started, you could, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> and um, you can always figure out a way to replicate it. If you're building a brand and you have a, a website, all Amazon requires is that you show on your manufacturer's website that the packaging has changed, but it's still the same product. So you could always update your packaging. Companies do it all the time. So anyway, I, I love the outlet. I've ordered from it before, and you, you do this thing where you can make an offer. Um, but here we, we're getting the bag price down to a dollar. So you're really saving money and you're, you're giving your customer a really nice product. Oh, whoops, that one sold out. So they have a couple different colors that you could choose from. Anyway, this is just an example. There's tons of stuff on the outlet. The other, the other one I liked, because it's kind of like a box, is this koozie, uh, this horizontal cooler. It is a cooler, um, but I like it because it's, the problem with the bag is if you have anything that's easily breakable, it's not gonna really be protected. But here you have actually, this has a little bit more tooth to it, so to speak. And so you could actually put some like, I don't know, boxes of cookies or something in there and they might not break. 
um, or even a mug or something like that. It's just got a little bit more structure similar to a box. And again, it's a reusable product. Now this one only has 300 left, but again, this would be a great way to test and see if this is something you wanted to order more of or something similar to it. These are a little bit more expensive. They're about $5 each. Um, but depending on what you're selling, this could be a great opportunity for uh, branded packaging. Okay, so the other thing you can get from a logoed merchandise company is bundle components. Again, be creative here, and I can't strongly emphasize enough how much you must provide value to the customer. I have seen logoed merchandise in bundles that was totally unrelated to the bumble, bundle. It was like a highlighter pen in a food bundle. So don't do that. Um, one product I like for food bundles or grocery bundles is a chip clip. Um, now they have a whole bunch of them to choose from, but um, here's an example of one. And you know, they're, they're about a dollar each, depending on how many you order. This one is set for 500, let me set it for 100. The price was up to 95 cents each, and you have a space here to either put your logo, or what I like about chip clips is you could put something cute. So if your goal is to provide value to the customer, the customer probably doesn't want something with your logo on it, right? Like they don't wanna have that in their home. So what you can do is get some cool ideas on cute things you could put on there. And you could always put the, the saying kind of big and your logo really small or just a link to your website. But, um, or not a link, but you know, the web address. For example, um, now some of these are kind of long, but uh, here's one that says, happiness is always having the next snack prepared. Um, you could do happiness is snacking or snack attack, um, midnight snack, Midnight Snacker. Um, so anyway, you can just use this. This is just Google. Uh, I just did a search for snack sayings. You could do Snack Smart. Don't take anything that is somebody's trademarked copyrighted material. Um, so I'm not suggesting you just copy a quote or something like that that you don't have authorization to use. But I love snack time. That's fine. Anybody could use that. Or I love snacking. Um, and that would look really cute if you did that like with the I heart snacks and then put that on this snack clip. And then it would be very hard for somebody to duplicate your bundle because they wouldn't have that exact chip clip. Um, and it does add value to the customer. I mean, I know I use those chip clips all the time. So this is just an example of something you could put in a grocery bundle that was snack oriented that would really add value to the bundle and to the customer. Another one I really like is this wine tool. It is a little bit more pricey, but uh, the, the minimum orders of 150, it gets down to 269 each. Um, but if you're doing like a picnic bundle or I don't know, uh, like a bridal or wedding basket of, you know, first household, there's, there's a lot of times you might want to give somebody a corkscrew as part of their bundle. You could even do it as part of a travel kit because like some people go on trips and get a bottle of wine for the hotel room. So they need to bring a corkscrew with them. So there's all sorts of options when you could use a corkscrew and it's pretty inexpensive to order them. And this is another one where I would say, put a cute expression on it. Your goal here is to provide value to the customer. It's not just to protect your bundle. So you could do like time to wind down, I think is really cute, or uncork and unwind, um, pour, drink, repeat. I, let, I make poor decisions. I don't know if I'd use that. It's a little negative. So, you know, there, there's so many things here that are not trademarked. They're not copyrighted material that you could put on this corkscrew that would be really fun and cute and add a lot of value to your bundle and make it very difficult for anybody to copy. Okay. Um, next thing I did is I went to promotional giveaways under a dollar. Now, you got to be careful. You don't want to be too cheap because you really want to add value. But there are a few things that, like if you were doing a toothpaste bundle, you could do a squeeze a tube. Um, this cup is pretty inexpensive. You could put some stuff in it. Um, they also have mugs and things like that you can do, but I just wanted to kind of get some ideas from the under dollar section. 
they have coasters. Um, there's some magnets, depending on what your bundle is. Again, just be really careful that what you're doing adds value. Here's a dog bone shaped bag clip that's under a dollar. So for people who do pet bundles, that might be a really good thing too. Um, I know when I get dog food, I usually have to tape it closed. <laughs> so um, there's just all sorts of options here and these are all less than a dollar each. Now you do have to order at least, usually at least 100 and sometimes 250. But um, you know, it can be a really good way to provide value at a low price overall compared to say ordering 1,000 or 5,000 units from China. Another thing I wanted to show you is how you could do a bundle from logoed merchandise. So this is an example of this really cute flower pot mug. And I looked at this and I thought, oh, this is cool because you could actually plant a flower in it or you could use it for your coffee or tea. So it's kind of got a double purpose. So I thought it would be fun, once again, if you, if you found like a cute saying to put on there. I, I'm not a huge fan of putting logos on mugs because most people don't want to buy your logo. Um, but you could put, you are my cup of tea, or coffee is my love language, or you know, tweak it a little bit to make it your own. Just make sure you're not using, check the USPTO, make sure you're not using anybody's copyrighted quote or whatever. Um, <clears throat> tea as a hug in a cup, you sweeten my tea. I mean, there's so many, enjoy life, it's delicious. These are all really kind of generic sayings that you could put on that mug. Again, would make it very hard for somebody to copy, but would also make it a really beautiful gift item. Now, what you could do is you could take a couple of these images that you like and send those to somebody on Fiverr. And you could say, all right, I want to use the words, enjoy life, it's delicious. These are my dimensions. And if you go to this, they'll, it'll actually tell you exactly what the imprint area size is. So you know exactly how big you can make it. And you know what? I really like, enjoy life, it's delicious. But I want to have some coffee beans and a tea bag. And I want it to be kind of a cute animated style. And you could show them like three or four different images. And then you could get a really nice image that you can use on your cup um, and that would be you know five to ten dollars for that and then going with our bundle theme I just went to walmart.com and I looked up flower tea because I thought if you're going with the flower pot theme um, I think I really like this seven blossoms tea because it's just I don't know it seems like it goes with that cup um, plus I wonder what I like to do if I am buying stuff arbitrage for bundles is I like to see if it's available wholesale so that if the bundle takes off, I can not be dependent on Walmart to source it for me. So um, most likely if you have, I mean, hopefully if you get pinged by, by somebody, you can show your invoice from walmart.com as proof of, of authenticity. There is a little bit of a risk always in arbitrage. But um, anyway, there's some cute flower teas here that I like. Even chamomile would be, you know, it's nice. I like this one because it has pictures of flowers on it. Um, and Stash is a pretty well-known brand too. So if you're going to buy one arbitrage, I would just make sure that it's available wholesale in case you wanted to wholesale it later. I really like this one, this lavender flowers one. It's very pretty. Um, so anyway, and then you could also do a flower seed packet to go with it. So you've kind of got the mug, the seeds, and the tea as a whole gift set. I think it'd be really cute and you could do it in one of, you could do it in your custom packaging and it would be lovely. Um, you could still do it in a box too, be fine. Um, this company, American Meadows, actually has, gives, you can custom your, customize your flower seed pack. Um, so it gives you another level of having something unique that can't be copied easily in your bundle while still providing value to the customer. Fully customizable seed packs. Um, so this is just one example. And then they also have on Fort Imprint, they have these seed bookmarks. Um, and this would be an opportunity to put your same expression that you had on the cup 
on the bookmark. Again, I, I don't think you should necessarily put a logo, um, but this is, you just plant this little thing and it grows. Here's one that's just the seed packet, not a bookmark. And these are pretty inexpensive. So that's just a kind of a couple of examples of how you can use logoed merchandise to bundle to kind of relatively low budget white label or private label, or at least make your bundles very hard to duplicate. And you can also do branded packaging. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a Scanner Society mini tip.